So going towards the biodome, I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it was what was gonna be inside. But actually, um the biodome simply it's kind of like exhibitions shown and they're really interactive and the purpose is really to increase the understanding of major environmental issues of the world and some solutions that we can um, go about it. So the next part of the video I'm going to show you is actually an exhibit inside and everything that you will see is clothing um, made by artists that and they made all these outfits using recycled materials and things that they actually found and dug through garbage cans in neighborhoods. That is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the detailing here. And actually it's made out of 2,500 light bulbs and it's called the Light Flow Grand Cuno Lumino. Now this one is made out of 200 biodegradable and eco-biodegradable bags. Cool, huh? This one, guess what, is actually made from 2,000 shotgun shells and a swell fabric. This one is my favorite and it's crazy. They put it in a refrigerator-like box and it's made out of, guess what, oh my gosh, 97 salmon skins, 40 mussel shells, and 300 meters of fishing line. It's crazy how they preserved this thing and made it into a dress. Three airbags, two headrests, two seatbelts, one piece of carpet, leather from two car seats, one tire and one baby car seat buckle were all used in this creation. Next one is actually made of, I believe, uh, pill capsules and it took 75 hours of melting and the temperature is between 150 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Celsius of the melting point and it weighs exactly 91 kilograms. You guessed it, that is the Arizona Green Tea and it's made out of 75 cans and 1,114 stainless steel rings. Very cute, it's made out of one bateen container, two coffee cups, two TV packages and one street vacuum bag. Pretty creepy, this is made out of 208 locks of hair, one hairstyle and cape and one pair of used boots. This one is made out of four sweaters, seven pairs of jeans, and 100 buttons. This one is made out of 36 computer mice, half a computer keyboard, and 120 cables. Guess how many batteries this one is made out of? 1,200. It's no surprise considering how many batteries you run through maybe a year. Cameras, remote controls. I'm not surprised about this one. Confused? I was too. This one is 800 meters of videotape, VHS and beta, 800 meters of audio tape cassettes, 2,000 slides, 2 seconds of 35 millimeter film. But currently, I'm sure it has been a lower number because we have DVDs, Blu-rays, so maybe they'll make a Blu-ray dress. What do you think? Those were my particular favorites, however, there were more, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. And it was really interesting for me, for sure. And actually, this one picture with the stickers, it's really cool. So you get to put the stickers, punch them, and then put them on the wall, which matches the shirt, which is also covered in stickers. The next day, I was really looking forward to this. So I was really excited, and it was the morning. It was actually a dewy damp morning. And anyways, um, we searched up on Google, best crepes in Montreal. And this place, which is called uh, Chez Suzette Crepes Saint Fondue's, popped up, and so we decided to go there. And actually, was fortunate that it was only maybe a 10-minute walk from our stay hotel. So I'll show you the video and how it went, and show you the food that we ordered as well. Firstly, let me start by saying the place was so cute from the outside, and I wish I took a picture. 
But when we went inside, it was small and cute, as like I said, and the menu was really organized, and it was all sectioned off with dessert, the dessert crepes, the meal crepes, um, either the ham, or really what kind of, what really tickled your fancy. So, yeah, it was really easy to navigate, and let me tell you, I did not know what to choose because... There were so many delicious looking items, but what I knew, I, I am all, and they were really good, but they're a little less um, fancy, and they're put in a paper coin, and they're still delicious, but these ones are really different. There's a quite, there's a bit of an ex ex exquisiteness for th about them, and they're laid out on the plate, really nicely presented, and a little cilantro here on the side really adds the flavor and some spices and herbs that I really don't know but my taste buds will love them and you can see the mushroom sauce dripping down and a little review about it is it was so creamy but I will talk about this later and the bread was so fluffy and light I mean it was filling but not to the point that you feel bloated or you can't take anymore so it was very light on the stomach and really easy to digest for sure and just the flavors, it was like a concoction inside your mouth, which is so nice. So, these were the only crepes I had in Montreal, but they were really definitely worth it. As you guys can tell, I get really excited talking about food. And as a side note, I have started a blog, which I'm really excited about, which is about food and travel and stuff. And I'm going to put a link down below, but for a more detailed review on the food, which I do love to share about, I'm going to put it on there. So please feel free to go jump over there if you have time and read about it. But for now, I will show you the rest of the food here. So I just finished the first couple of bites, actually more of it, and it's very, very good. The sauce is really creamy and you can taste the mushrooms, so it's really, and the bread is really soft. So, now we're going to eat this. This is our second round, which is the dessert, and it looks really good. So this one is the Sonia, which is the cream, ice cream, bananas, and strawberries. And then this one is the Symphony with oranges, and strawberries, bananas, and melons, I believe. So I'll tell you how it tastes like after. So we are sharing, but I did order the Sonia, which is really typical of me. And the ice cream with the crepe, I wouldn't have thought, is really, really good. That cold mix with that hot fudge and the strawberries just really adds something. It's really, really special. And it was really delicious. I don't know what to say. It was texture, the balance, the acidity. <laughs> it was really, really good. There wasn't too much sweetness to it. There was a balance to it that didn't make you feel too overwhelmed with the sweetness. And that's what I like with dessert crepes. I prefer the things that they are sweet, but the fruit side won't take over or the chocolate side won't take over and it's a really nice harmonious balance in the mouth. The next one isn't particularly something I would choose, but um, my family members ordered this one and it's primarily at, uh, just fruit and usually the reason why I wouldn't like it is because I'm not very much of a fruit person or a healthy person and I'm afraid that the fruit might come off as a bit too salty or bitter or sour but surprisingly they put a sugar coating on top and what really made it delicious surprisingly was the Irish cream when you pour the Irish cream on top, it really just complements that fruit so nicely that I didn't even notice it. It was a nice alternative to the very chocolatey crepe that I did order previously, but together it just really made for a good experience. So I didn't know that the Star Wars section was actually quite a bit long and I can't exceed 15 minutes for my YouTube videos. So I'm going to be making a separate video for that which will be uploaded soon, soon, soon. And I'm glad you guys watched this and really thank you so much for watching and staying with me on this journey. And I'll see you guys in the next video.